The Cadillac 3. Hey, Jaron, I saw a picture of you, and you were in a pool. It was you, and I think it was maybe one, a little big town, shirtless. Jimmy, I think, to be fair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe, Mer- I don't know, it was like a bunch of you guys were in the pool together. Who was in that picture? Um, it was me, Jimmy, Karen, Miranda, and her husband, Brendan. How did you guys all end up in the pool? We like to party together. <laughs> um, we're we're on the road with Miranda in Little Big Town right now on the bandwagon, 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 off the bandwagon tour. And yeah, it's, it's definitely off right now. But um, we were down in West Palm Beach, and they had this pool at the venue, and we decided it was you know Bloody Mary Margarita time about I don't know nine thirty ten in, in the a.m. and that's in the morning. Yeah, 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 that was good. It was good, Bobby. You would have loved it. So you mm-hmm. drank. A couple margaritas. Yeah. And you got in the pool at 9, 10 a.m. Then do you have to go and reset yourself before the show? Well, in theory, Bobby, you do. <laughs> um, that night, we you know, we kind of all picked our battles there. We were like, I mean, for Cadillac, we only have to play 35 minutes on that show. So I'm like, I can pretty much do anything for 35. Well, not everything, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Uh, but uh, so they, they have to play a little longer. So uh, I just kept it going. The tough part was the encore at the end when I go back out with them and sing Let It Be uh, by the Beatles. You know, I got to go up and when I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. So I go, when I find myself in hands when I'm here, I feel <laughs> no time I see. Yeah. And then everybody laughs and it's great. And then I leave. You're drinking something in a can now and yeah. it's early. Well, it's just soda water. Okay. So, yeah. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> you said. I usually start with Waterloo and then we edge into the, uh, you know, whatever. But yeah. So creatively, as far as the group goes here, like what, what's happening with you guys? Man, we've, you know, the two, last two years were crazy for everybody, obviously. I and mean, I feel like that's the way everybody always preface, prefaces with, you know, what's going on. But we, um, you know, we've been hit real hard by the whole thing. Uh, my dad died and all this stuff, and uh, we kind of had to regroup. We took six months off again after the pandemic, and uh, now we're back, and we're we just actually started the new record yesterday, and it's going good. We're actually in the studio all this week, right down the street here. So, uh, feeling very creative. It's a lot of fun, better spirits now, and we're out on the road with Miranda and Little Big Town. So it's it's pretty cool, man. When you take a break, and you take six months to, you know, kind of uh, just reexamine see where you are creatively, get your personal lives lined up. Do you feel like you come back with a different creative spirit than you would have otherwise? You hope to, you know. I mean, that's that's one thing that the beginning of the COVID thing had for at least me in particular, the Tabasco and Sweet Tea record, you know, it gave us a time to just sit and really concentrate on that and do something different, completely unexpected. And I think with our band, that's kind of where we always kind of want to keep people. You know, we don't want... Bobby Bones sitting there going, well, I know what those, it's not, you know, it's not Little Big Town or Dirks or, you know, whoever, all these people that do do things that are very expected. Um, actually, Little Big Town, that's wrong. They do different things. But, and Dirks could be on a mountain or he could be on a beach. <laughs> I'm not sure where he's at. <laughs> <laughs> so those were two bad examples. But uh, Eli Young Ben, no. Indulge me for a second, Jaron. I'm just going to list off some of the songs you've you've written as a songwriter. Are you cool with that? Yeah, You're not man. Not going to get yeah. embarrassed or anything because you're so successful. Just, just make make me <laughs> make me look bigger than I am, Bobby. Right. Come on. Uh, Jaron wrote, and no need for clips, right there. These are such big songs; people will know them just by me saying them. Uh, Keith Urban and Eric Church, raise them up. Keith Urban, you're going to fly. Jake Owen, American Country Love Song. Jake Owen, Beechin, Billy Currington, Donut. Tim McGraw, Meanwhile, Back at Mama's. Tim McGraw, Southern Girl. Frankie Ballard, Sunshine and Whiskey. Do songs just come to you when you're sleeping, when you're in the shower? What's the deal? I mean, not when we're doing a Cadillac 3 record, obviously, because those have not done as well as the other songs. Um, I think it's, it's different every time. Like whenever, you know, I remember Jonathan Singleton, who's another successful songwriter in town, telling me he hears him in the shower. I don't hear anything in the shower. I usually you get in there and somebody says something cool or you write something down when you're drinking beer at the end of the night and you're like, oh, how would that fit to music? And then it kind of just happens, you know. Ashley Gorley just walks in and says, I got this title, American Country Love Song. And I'm like, that's great. How do you not write that? And so we did. And it was good. You know? So you talk about the Cadillac 3 and writing these songs and you're, I was going to ask, but you mentioned it last segment, uh, you guys are doing it now, like you're doing yeah. the record now. So what is that, what's that timetable from when, that new single or that new music we get comes out? Um, it's, you know, probably sooner than later now because it's, 
everything seems like it moves a lot quicker these days. You know, you used to spend a lot of times on records. I think right now we're actually trying to take our time, but we're going to get, we're going to start putting out songs pretty quickly. Like we're, we recorded one yesterday and we're probably going to put it out next week. Just like, because, love you, to hear it. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> it's that kind of world we live in now. Um, and I think the fans really appreciate that and love the getting the contact or contact or what is it, content as soon as they can. So one of my favorite songs from you guys was white lightning, man. That was just, I don't know why that song didn't, crush you know i well, play it love it. go ahead <laughs> i was like he's like he knows exactly where i'm gonna go with that one. i played it i know you played it but nobody else it. i couldn't get people to jump on i sent you a text i'm like dude thank you for playing white lightning and he goes who this new phone <laughs> <laughs> come on bones <laughs> <laughs> okay enough of that yeah. but it was like you mentioned it so i'm only gonna follow your lead here you say you can't get the Cadillac 3 in that same spot with these number one songs. Where, where, what's the disconnect? It's not you guys. Super talented. Great. Yep. All three of you together. I mean, love all of you. Where, Where is that? Is it kind of like a just, I like to dumb it down for myself. Another group that struggles with this a bit, and I'm not comparing you to at all, but it's, Brothers Osborne has a struggle of they can't right. get some people to commit to their sound because that's slightly different and they're slightly different. Is that, you think, where it is? I think, I, you know, and TJ and John, obviously dear friends of ours, I think uh, we all kind of have the mindset of do what you do, and hopefully it gets to the point where people don't have a choice but not to play it because it's so it, it's it become a sound that's in demand. And chasing something seems out of the realm of what we would do or Brothers Osborne would do. You know, we'd much rather just go sell a 1,000 tickets everywhere we go and you know, do that and live that kind of thing and not have to be like, you know, or whatever. We can, and we give those songs to whoever wants to go. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's, and you still get to check. They come to the mailbox right there. So it's kind of a win-win, you know? So on this next record, have you changed creatively in the, since 2000? I mean, that, that last record came out in 2020, right? Am I yeah, right on that? Yeah. So it's been a, a bit of time. Yeah. Like, it's the longest we've ever taken to yeah. do anything. Yeah. Are you guys in a different place creatively where there could be a little more of... <laughs> uh, I think, you know, I think it's going to be a little bit of both. I think we re kind of really want to go heavy on this next record because we e it's, it's interesting. And TJ and John and all of us have this conversation all the time about how it's like so great to go out and play shows and play these things that are just aggressive that would never be on the radio, but you see the way that the fan reacts to them. And so it's like in our perfect world, we do these things and record them right to where they work both worlds. So, so you'll record both both songs that fit all spectrums. Look at Eric Church, right? He he cuts drink a little drink, smoke a little smoke, or he'll cut what is the what was the big the heavier one? But he's got a high tenor country voice, right? I'm down here, hey, and then TJ and John, oh, you know what I mean? So it's like. It's a little easier sell when Eric does it, but I think we'd like to record things that in our own way that would still work at radio, but it's going to take people putting up the pirate flags and getting weird, you know? I mean, that's just realistic, you know? Well, I admire that. Love your music. Big fans of you guys. I, liked, you. I like it during a show when, like, these 80s shows. Like, all right, we'll go around on the drums. Neil! And then you do your drum. I like to get a little of that now, if you guys don't mind. I'd like to do it, though. Is that cool? We have to yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all right. All right, all right we, ladies and gentlemen, you've been here all night! You're exhausted, you're sweating. Let me introduce the band on the drums. And background vocals, Neil! Oh. <laughs> okay, pretty short, but uh, you know what? Yeah. With that, <laughs> fine, <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. A uh, lot of strings. Right now he's got it on his lap. The guy, I'm not done, Kelby, wait. I said wait. It's Kelby. <laughs> I think I just had a seizure from that. Okay. <laughs> and finally, on lead vocals and guitar, Jaron. Hey, man. All right. There we have it. <laughs> you guys follow them. They're out now with Miranda and Little Big Town. And here's the commitment I'll make to you guys now. It, yeah, since you're in my face and, you, and I'm, your, I'm in your face. I don't know why I said it like that, but we're here together. <laughs> uh, when you get the new record or song done, if it's the one you guys feel like is the single, let me know. I will put it on the National Countdown Show, so there'll be a couple hundred stations. Uh, we'll do a little premiere here on this show as well. It won't be little, but I like to say that, so I make myself seem humble, which is hard. And then <laughs> from there, uh, we'll 
at least give it a little kick in the pants to start. So just nice, great. if you put something out that you're like, this is just our first taste. It's not really what we're aiming for. For like our when you get that one, Jaron text me and I'll be like, who this? But then I'll go, <laughs> you got it, and then we'll do it. All right. I so, appreciate it. Man. I think you guys are so Thank good you. and thanks, buddy. You know, just to hear you guys perform live again, it doesn't remind me because I already knew. But it just reminds me that I need to be out front, kind of waving that pirate flag. Although I'm not that crazy, uh, I can still hold a flag up, you know? Yeah, man. Of course, man. Well, we appreciate you having us, man. Thank you, Bobby, always. There they are, the Cadillac 3. Appreciate you guys. We'll be back in a minute. Nice job, guys. Woo!